Monday morning, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden flew into Westlex Bluegrass Airport, where they will be meeting Governor Andy Bashir and First Lady Brittany Bashir to view flood damage in eastern Kentucky. And I promise you, we're staying, the federal government, along with the state and county and the city, we're staying until everybody's back to where they were. Not a joke. In response to catastrophic flooding that left 37 eastern Kentuckians dead, hundreds displaced, and countless homes destroyed, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden arrived at Westlex Bluegrass Airport to view flooding damage in eastern Kentucky. During Biden's visit, he spoke with state and local officials about the damage. Less than two weeks ago, this region suffered the most devastating, destructive flooding to hit our Commonwealth in my lifetime. At least 37, now I believe 38 lives were lost, including four young children. Communities have been destroyed, if not completely wiped off the map. Once again, our people are hurting, facing loss and hardship on a scale that's hard to process. Eastern Kentucky is a place where flooding is a part of life, but no one has ever seen anything like the historic flooding that hit us on the night of July 26th. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a heart and vascular institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. During Bashir's comments, he commended volunteers, first responders, and community members who helped each other out in a time of need. We've also once again seen the professionalism and outright heroism of the Kentucky National Guard, Kentucky State Police, Fish and Wildlife personnel, Kentucky Emergency Management, and local first responders who showed up just not from here, but from all over the Lexington Fire Department trying to get to hazard, couldn't get through it. So they did over 60 rescues when they first hit water right here in Breathitt County. Mr. President, our Kentucky National Guard is the greatest guard in the country. Right. Its members remind us that they are us. They are Kentuckians who are our neighbors who in incredible times get called to service and they never let us down. But for every rescue of our first responders, there were two by community members, neighbors that may have had a kayak. There was a young man in Letcher County with a jet ski that I'm not kidding you rescued more than 10 people. Thankfully having that in his garage, risking their lives to help one another. Stories of neighbors rushing from their own flooded homes to their neighbors and let me tell you, I remember watching a cleanup, talking to somebody, pulling stuff out, saying, is this your house? She said, no, mine's two down, but we're going to finish this one before we get to mine. And we've seen so many outstanding young Kentuckians stepping up. It looks like one may have even given his life in the service of others. We have seen a remarkable response because we Kentuckians are remarkable people. Following Governor Bashir, President Biden mentioned efforts of a $1.2 billion infrastructure bill that would help Kentuckians to utilities and services such as high-speed internet following the flooding. What we're going to do is we're going to see, for example, if they got to put a new water line in in the community. There's no reason why they can't at the same time be digging a line that puts in a whole new modern line for internet connections. Why? Why can't we do that? So this is going to be different. We're going to come back better than before. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.